First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak, Radash. Secondly, I'd like to give double honors and praise to the elders and apostles of GMS. And um, much love and respect for anybody that subscribed, the new subscribers, the Akim, women, when, that subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. Shout out to y'all. Um, this is really talking about going into the market of beasts, deeper in depth detail. Um, I was stumbling, <coughs> excuse me, so like I was stumbling across this video, and I wanted to share it with the other Akim out there and the other people out there and let them know that this beast is implementing his system soon, and um, the market of the beast is the RFID chip. You know, soon it's going to be a cashless society out here, very soon, I mean, very, very soon, but I'm going to let this video um Edify y'all. So many economists believe the future will be cash free. You're already seeing it from everywhere you go, whether it's your baseball game or to your local deli. Now, Sweden is getting there even faster than anyone else. According to a New York Times report, a fifth of the country, a fifth, doesn't even use ATMs anymore. And 4,000 Swedes, now get this, have microchips implanted in their hands so they can pay for products with just a wave of their hand. Ah, makes the Apple Watch kind of look obsolete. So on top of that, many Swedish companies... Think about this, too. Excuse me. The most high said of this. So if anybody, you know, is going to come down to a point that Esau is going to come down with great wrath, he's going to force people to receive the ship. People that's important, celebrities, people that's... um. That's like at the bottom, you know, free and bond. The bond meaning people that's locked up in jail are going to be forced to get it. The free men that's walking around, the rich and the poor, you know, the rich, the LeBron James and, you know, all these celebrities that you see, they're going to have to take that chip too. The poor, the private, you know, people living in shitty ass communities like ourselves, you know, and myself. Yeah, you know, my people are going to be forced to, to receive it too. I'm, I'm even going to, have to face our temptation, but I'm giving all praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakadash. You know, he's had he's gonna have me throwing that hour temptation. That's the hour that all men that call on the name of Yahweh is really gonna be tested in that hour. Companies are asking their employees to get implants, to pass through access points, and to pay for conveniences. Now the red flags start going up. So for our red flags, we have to turn to legal media analyst Lionel. Lionel, thanks for joining us on this. I know you've got some red flags, and I feel like I'm reading out of the book of Revelation, possibly. So what concerns... Absolutely. Come <laughs> How ironic it is that huh? Esau... Is this talking about she feel like she reading out of the book of what? What is this? Revelation 13? <laughs> Prophecies is being fulfilled, I can. Brothers and sisters out there, man, these is going to come to pass very soon. Very, very soon. They know that's going to come to pass. She wouldn't even have made that karma to her mouth if she knows it's not going to come to pass. But she basically just said she's reading some out of Revelations right here. And he calls us all. Who is he? Esau. Those devils, they know. Come to you, arise from humans microchipping themselves. This is the mark of the beast. <laughs> this is, listen, no, no. See? Man, this is brother know. He know what it is. They know it's the mark of the beast. You know, they, they, they know what's on the way. They know what's to come. I mean, I'm, I, I'm no biblical scholar here, but it's amazing the parallels made. Now, listen, let's get down to brass tacks. Would you, st not you, I wish they'd stop with this. They go, we're going cashless. We've been cashless. Where's this cash? You ever buy a house with cash or a car? We've got this. I, I don't even have, I got a couple of bucks. We've been cashless. But that's not the issue. One of these days, these kids, these, I think you call them millennials or something, they're going to take these little tiny RFID, radio frequency identification chips, about the size of a grain of rice. And they're going to be cool, Scotty. Oh, they're going to be 
waiting in line overnight to get implanted. And they're going to say, look at this. I can go to the drugstore. I can go to a cab. Isn't this great? How cool am I? Look, I've got this little embedded chip. And they'll say, they have medical records. And you're going to do that to grandma and grandpa in case, God forbid, they have some kind of dementia. They're walking off. I mean, after all, we have it in our dogs, right? It's like on star for human beings. But here's the catch. One of these days, God forbid, God, you to fight. They, they, they find you guilty of something. And you go before a court. And they say, we're going to sentence you to prison? No. We're going to turn your chip off. And you don't exist. Everything. In fact, people are going to notice that when you walk up. Just like, you know, just like this devil just said, they're going to put that chip on you. And, and basically, if they shut it off, that chip is going to control how you function. You know, your moods. You know, get people temporarily with a think abilities really not going to be given any abilities Esau is a carnal man so his mark is, is, is deals with carnality you know engraving itself you know um look if you, like if you look at the movie gladiator how they really um engrave their soldiers and as slaves was given a mark to either our air ring or some type of in engravement like cattle or something of that sort of nature Look what they did to slaves back then, how they used to mark them. You know, a mark is a mark, man. It's a physical thing with a mark. Esau's not spiritual. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, that's a spiritual mark because that's a name that a lot of people don't know. You know, that's more of the spirituality coming to you. Think about it. They're going to say, who is this? You're not registering. You say, it's me. What do you mean, who is this? No, you're not showing up on this. You don't exist. If you think I'm kidding, this is Elba. This is this is like some type of a prison. And people are going to be, one of these days, enslaved by this chip that will not, will, it will replace okay. you. Now, wait a minute. First of all, no chip can replace you. Let me just point that out. No chip can replace me. But I, You're you know, telling we, can, me. We, we can talk about the sci-fi sense, but I also want to talk about the responsibility aspect of it. My mother used to say, if you can't hold on to a $20 bill, then you don't even need to be able to spend it. You're not responsible enough to spend it. I'm worried. Is there, are they going to sell this basis on the fact that, hey, guess kids lose their money all the time. You won't ever have to be responsible again for yourself. You know, we, it automatically comes to you. Is that how they're going to try to sell Scotty? this? What? Scotty, what's that thing you have on your wrist? Oh, I, that, I said I've got my Apple that looks watch. like a watch? Mm -hmm. Oh, it tracks me. You know what that is? That's a surveillance unit. That's a surveillance unit. This is transhumanism. The RFID chip one day, and how many times have you used that? Have you used the iPhone wallet? Hey, I got this. Isn't this great? It's convenient, and you're though. you're responsible. Yeah, convenience you is po That's a positive, though. We can't always say all technology is negative. Positive. It's positive. You know, Let me tell you something. When something is free, you're the product. This is what happens. You see, we're going around and we're, I mean, I, I, I don't want to uh, uh, scare you, but we've lost all sense of freedom. We, we, we're walking around here enslaved in this 24-7 worldview panopticon. You are walking around with a surveillance device on your wrist. Well, you know and, what? And I've got this stupid thing, too. I'm walking around with Well, it. you know what? I, will, I, mean, I don't know if I'd want to be surveilled your life 24-7. Mine's not exciting. But you know what? I know that we will have you back on to continue this conversation. Thanks for joining us. Please. You got it's very it. serious stuff. It is. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for It's going to fall over with this right here. Revelations 13, 16, 17, and 18. And he calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. All. Who's he? Esau. Esau is going to cause the small, people that's just down and out, the great, the rich, the rich, the free, and the bond. Even Jake's us in jail to receive a mark in their forehead. To receive slack and to, to receive and mark the right hand on their foreheads. And you know why he's doing this? Really to track Jake. He wants to, you know, leave a tracking device on us because we're everywhere. So why do you think he's going to come down with so much great wrath? Because he want to track us, our every movement, everywhere that we are, we everywhere in this world. 
and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the uh, or the number of his name, which is six six six. Esau controls all things: the the water, the media, the the food, all things that we need. He controls it, so that's why he's gonna come down with this. This mark. He's trying to take the role of the most high. He's trying to create himself like he is the most high. It's not going to work though. Here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man he saw. And his number is 600. Three scores and six. 666. Six, six. When you go out there and buy something. Look on the back of the um the barcode. You know. Look on that. That's even has 666 on there. So Esau's not going to allow you to buy anything unless you have this mark. But, but, so the ones that call on the true name, the true power, we're going to eat. His servants shall eat during Jacob's travel. During when all hell breaks loose, we shall eat. We're going to be good. Our, 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 our children are going to be good. Our women, our family is going to be good. We just got to call on the name. Hey, how about Hashem? Yeah, how about Shah? Hashem, Keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Put all faith into him. He's going to give. He's going to take care of these fucking devils, too. Mark my words. And for two, for two thirds of our sellout, punk ass people that's going to bow down to this beast. Because the beast system, because you got to think about it, in order for you to be willing. To take the mark of the beast, you got to be willing to, like, say in your heart, I love this beast system. Honestly, you got to be, be willing to say, I love the image of the beast. The image of the beast is here in America, the carnal way of living. That's the image of the beast. That's the image that's talked about right here. Another angel, a third voice following, saying, If anyone worship the beast and his image and receive a mark on his forehead, Esau and his beastie way of living, America's going down. People love this carnal way of, of, of living. You know, you're going to drink the full cup. So you gonna drink the full cup of your house wrath? I don't even want half of the cup. I don't even want none of it. But you, you, you Jake's out there. You two thirds, man. That, that's that love this, love Esau's world. You love this rulership. Your ass, man. It's, it's, it's what you gonna do when when the Lord comes for you? Saying fuck Hulk Hogan. What you gonna do when the Lord comes for you? And you'll be tormented with fire and brimstone. That's their nuclear destruction. And, and in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. While we getting beamed up, getting our new bodies, about to be with Yahweh Shah, we're going to witness y'all be, 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 man. What more can I say? Really? For giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah. I hope this is edifying to all the Akim out there and all the women that, that watch my videos as well. Shalom.